Good morning. Let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with all of you. And also with you. To prepare ourselves, let us call to mind our sins and ask for God's forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. For I have sinned, and I ask the Blessed Mary ever virgin and all the angels and saints and, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Father, you have given all peoples one common origin, and your will is in is to gather them as one family in yourself. Fill the hearts of all with the fire of your love and the desire to ensure justice for all their brothers and sisters. By sharing the good things you give us, may we secure justice and equality for every human being, an end to all division, and a human society built on love and peace. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Today's reading is from the book of the prophet Hosea. Thus says the Lord, they made kings in Israel, but not by my authority. They established princes, but without my approval. With their silver and gold, they made idols for themselves so their own, to their own destruction. Cast away your calf, O Samara. My wrath is kindled against them. How long will they be unable to attain innocence in Israel? The work of an artisan, no God at all. Destined for the flames, such is the calf of Samaria. When they sow the wind, they shall reap the whirlwind. The stalk of grain that forms no ear can yield no flower. Even if it could, strangers would swallow it. When Ephraim made many altars to expiate sin, his altars became occasions of sin. Though I write for him many, many ordinances, they are considered as a stranger's. Though they offer sacrifice, immolate flesh and eat it. The Lord is not pleased. He shall still remember their guilt and punish their sin. They shall return to Egypt. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Sponsor Psalm today is Alleluia. Our God is in heaven. Whatever he wills, he does. Their idols are silver and gold and handiwork of men. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They have mouths but speak not. They have eyes but see not. They have ears but hear not. They have noses but smell not. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They have hands but feel not. They have feet but walk not. Their maker shall be like them, everyone that trusts in them. The house of Israel trusts in the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 I am the good shepherd, says the Lord. I know my sheep and mine know me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. The glory to you, O Lord. Lord. A demoniac who could not speak was brought to Jesus. And when the demon was driven out, the mute man spoke. The crowds were amazed. 
and they said, Nothing like this has ever been seen in Israel. But the Pharisees said, He drives out demons by the prince of demons. Jesus went around to all the towns and villages teaching in their synagogues proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom. At the sight of the crowd, his heart was moved with pity for them because they were troubled and abandoned like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, the harvest is abundant, but the laborers are few. So ask the master of the harvest to send out laborers for the harvest. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> In this Gospel today, we see Jesus' love for each and every person he comes in contact with. This demoniac man was scorned and put aside and, and Jesus reached out and drove that demon from the man and he who had been mute could speak. Yet the men of power, the Pharisees, condemned him for that saying that evil was driving out evil and Jesus said that's not possible. He would be working against himself. And Jesus' concern for the crowd was that they had no shepherd. They were like sheep without someone guiding them. And he called on his disciples to come after him and to go after the people who needed guidance, who needed to hear the word and to become loving members of society, loving one another. And that is the message of today's gospel, is that always we have got to work towards loving one another. With humble hearts, we come before God to voice our needs and those of the world saying, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For Casina, that God will show us how to disengage from our business and technology so our minds and spirits can be refreshed through prayer, engaged in relationships, and appreciating nature, we pray to the Lord. And Lord, hear our prayer. For our nation, that God will guide us in living the values that we proclaim so that all may experience life, liberty, and justice, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For inclusivity, that God will open the hearts and minds of those entrapped in judging people and help everyone recognize the God-given dignity of each person, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are weary in body, mind, or spirit, that the spirit will restore strength to the physically exhausted, hope to those who are emotionally worn out, and energy to all who are exhausted through loving service of others, we pray to the Lord. Dear Lord, hear our prayer. For legislators and municipal council members, that God will give them wisdom in addressing current challenges, encourage to work for the greater good and openness to new approaches for the good of those whom they serve we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer for all Amen. who are traveling that god will guide them safely to their destinations and protect them from all harm we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer for all of those who have asked for our prayers especially hannah dunn elaine rosen Vera Green, Dennis and Nancy Muir, Bishop Carl Provena Smith, Father Michael Dakota, Margaret Mahoney, Janet Decker, and Mary Verena's special intention, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Please at this time add any intentions that you have. 
to my friend Cheryl and my friend Romina. Please at this time add any intentions for all of our unspoken intentions we pray to the Lord. And Lord hear our prayer. Loving Father, your dominion is over all the earth. By the power of your spirit, answer the prayers that we make in your name. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace by <coughs> peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And also with you. Let us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us our bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, to humble himself, to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. My friends, pray that our sacrifice will be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice of our hands to the praise and glory of his, his name, name for our Lord good and Lord the good of all his, his church. church. Lord, Hear the prayers of those who call on you and accept the offering of your church. Fill all with the spirit of the sons of God until all injustice is conquered by love and there is one family in, in the earth established in your peace. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give and him thanks and praise. Father, all powerful and ever living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks. You have no need of our praise, yet our desire to thank you is itself your gift. Our prayer of thanksgiving adds nothing to your greatness, but makes us grow in your grace through Jesus Christ our Lord. In our joy we sing to your glory with all the choirs of angels. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Father, you are holy indeed, and all creation rightly gives you praise. All life, all holiness comes from you through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, by the working of the Holy Spirit. From age to age, you gather a people to yourself so that from east to west, a perfect offering may be made to the glory of your name. And so, Father, we bring you these gifts. We ask you to make them holy by the power of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate this Eucharist. On the night he was betrayed, he took bread and gave you thanks and praise. He broke the bread gave it to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you.
When supper was ended, he took the cup. Again, he gave you thanks and praise. He gave the cup to his disciples and said, Take this to all of you and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ, Christ has died. died. Christ, Christ is risen. risen. Christ, Christ will, will come, come again. again. Father, calling to mind the death your Son endured for our salvation, his glorious resurrection and ascension into heaven, and ready to greet him when he comes again, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look with favor on your church's offering and see the victim whose death has reconciled us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by his body and blood may be filled with his Holy Spirit and become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make us an everlasting gift to you and enable us to share in the inheritance of your saints with Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, with the apostles, the martyrs, St. Charles of Brazil, and all your saints on whose constant intercession we rely for help. Lord, may this sacrifice which has made our peace with you advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Strengthen in faith and love your pilgrim church on earth, your servant Anthony, our bishop, and all the bishops with the clergy and the entire people your son has gained for you. Father, hear the prayers of the family you have gathered here before you. In mercy and love, unite all your children wherever they may be. Welcome into your kingdom our departed brothers and sisters and all who have left this world in your friendship. We hope to enjoy forever the vision of your glory through Christ our Lord, from whom all good things come. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. And now let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. May the strangling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lord Jesus Christ, with faith in your love and mercy, we eat your body and drink your blood. Let it not bring us condemnation, but health in mind and body. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to his suffering. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed.
Jesus, we believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. We love you above all things, and we desire to receive you into our souls. Since we cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into our heart. We embrace you as if you were already there, and unite ourselves wholly to you. Never permit us to be separated from you. Amen. Come to me, all you that labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest, says the Lord. Let us pray. Lord, you renew us with the one bread that restores the human family to life. By sharing in the sacrament of unity, fill us with a strong and unselfish love that we may work for the progress of all peoples and lovingly bring the work of justice to perfection. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit come on you and remain with you forever and ever. Amen. Go now in the peace of Christ. Have a great day. Thanks be to God.